What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cash, back again with another video. And as promised, late, but as promised, I'm gonna showcase all of the uh, Funko Pops that I received from Comic-Con. And if you want, I'm gonna showcase all of my My Hero uh, Pops as well. So if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like on it. Don't forget to smash the sub button if you're new and hit the bell to get notified when I drop new videos. And without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start off with the non-My Hero ones first and then work all the way down to what I feel like is the rarest My Hero Pops that I received. But starting off first, we got an Ultra Instinct Goku that I paid $10 for, which I really feel like is a pretty pretty good deal. There's probably some places that sell it for like 8 bucks, But Ultra Instinct Goku, um, 10 bucks, not bad at all. You see that? you know, main condition. I don't really have any of the, I don't have any other Dragon Ball Z Pops. This is my actual first uh, Dragon Ball Super Pop, so that is pretty good. And so coming up next, another uh, $10 Pop that I had is the Naruto Rasengan version. This one is, um, yeah, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Naruto, as you can see, and I really felt like, you know, it's, it's time to start this collection. It's kind of late, but it's really I really felt like I should start it. They um got the, you know, he got a little Rasen gun in his hand and stuff like that. Let me see. And I really wanted the uh the Biju Naruto, but yeah, I did not see that anywhere in Comic Con. I definitely would have caught that. So here we go, Naruto Rasen gun. All right, up next is Sasuke, Sasuke Uchiha, the Avenger. Honestly, I really felt like they could have done better with this, or either dropped a different version of when. He has like his sword or a Chidori or something in his hand. That'd be lit. Or his Curse Marks transformation form. But we also, but we have uh, Sasuke here. Um, honestly, he's not a, really a part of a big set. There's only three of them. And I, I seen Kurama, but they was really going hand with the prices over there. So I really uh, backed out on buying it. But next time I go to Boston, I'll definitely pick up Kurama. But we have Sasuke Uchiha. Uh, another $10 uh, pop that I bought. Pretty darn good. Alright, up next is what nobody expected. Not even me. I didn't even expect to see this. But this is the Miraculous Adventures of Ladybug and Cat Noir. Like, this right here is, like, epic to me because... And it got Tiki. And it also has Tiki in there. Tiki doesn't really look like that. But pop, pop version, yes, that is a Tiki. But this is, like, epic because I never expected to see this pop there. Like, it's only three in a series. Uh, Cat Noir, um, Cat Noir in, in his, his Miraculous and, uh, Hawk Moth, but this is freaking epic, did not expect to see this here, and it was also 10 bucks, well, actually, I had got this on the 3 for 30 deal, so, it kind of was 10 bucks a piece, but that is epic. Alright, so up next, we got Katsuki, aka Bakugo. My biggest problem with this pop is, I don't understand why they didn't just put it as Bakugo, the name by everybody knows him by, but they put it as Katsuki. Other than that, it's, I like it. They should have, like, how they have, like, multiple different forms of Deku, they should have, like, a blast version of uh, Bakugo, with him, like, shooting out, out of his nitroglycerin grenade launch hands and stuff like that. That'd be really dope. And they got this, this one right here. That's like super duper rare. Her, she's type rare in her, uh, with a San Diego Comic Con, um, pop. But other than that, it's Bakugo, really great pop. Also got it for 10 bucks at Comic Con. And so up next, we have Deku in his training. Um, really good pop. Also paid 10, no, I think I paid 15 bucks for this one at Comic-Con. Um, really worth it. I love the stance, like, per, like brilliant stance. Stance he used when he was fighting Todoroki and stuff like that. The only thing I wish they did was made his uh, finger purple to indicate that, you know, his arm was hurt, like, when he used his quirk that he wasn't, like, you know, fully mastered yet. But other than that, this is pretty dope. I love the red shoes they wear. That's, that's really dope as well. So up next, we have Ochako, the Miss Lovely. 
actually loved this pup so much and she had a, a, a San Diego Comic Con version they were selling for 250 I instantly knew that I was not going to buy that so yeah we got Ochako pretty good pretty good alright we have Suyu aka Froppy this one is pretty epic this one was also uh, paid 10 bucks for it. Now, mind you, all of these pop models that I'm showing you right now, I never found any of them in New Jersey. I literally have to travel out of state just to get the, uh, the pops that I'm looking for to complete a set. This whole set that I have in this right here, I have all of these. They are complete. So, yeah, that's, that's really dope. Alright, so this one was also 10 bucks. And this one, i never seen this in Jersey, the Weekend All Might, it, and, and it's like really, like really dope, like, you see his uh, dark blue eyes, this is like one of the first pops I've seen with long eyes like that, so that makes it like super duper unique, and his shirt is like really just like dope, like look at his shirt, shirt and jeans, his stance is epic, um, once again I have all the pops that's in this series, in this one right here, and... Yeah, I, I, yeah, this was um, one of the ones that was, you know, 3 for 30, which makes it, you know, 10 a piece. Epic pie, I say so myself. Alright, one, one of the last regular ones that I'm going to show you guys is the regular All Might from the original uh, set. Like, I really can't find, I like, you can't find these anywhere in Jersey. I literally had to travel out of state to get this one. And, like, look at his stance. His stance is just epic. Like, you see that? The original All Might. Perfect. Alright, so we got Deku. I like to call this Deku, um, Deku Transformed. But this Deku is literally the exact same as this Deku. But without the X and without the, the glow in the dark and the electricity going around his body. So this Deku is just, it's a, um, Entertainment Earth exclusive glow in the dark paid 15 bucks for this it's like it, it was a, that's a deal and this one was uh 10 bucks paid 10 bucks so they, they literally have both the same stance but one is just a little bit extra which makes this one just that much special 15 bucks you cannot beat Alright, so this one is the last pop that I got from Comic-Con. This is the Chrome, all Chrome uh, Funimation Comic-Con 2019 pop. It's like epic. It was uh, 30 bucks. Even the box is different. You see that? Like, look at that. Gold lettering on the side. That's epic. Like, the back is just gold and shiny and stuff. The side, just that shiny, that shiny border around here that just makes it so freaking beautiful so it's worth every dollar spent and plus it's in a protective case um the case was 10 bucks as well i plan to get more cases for my pops but this was the first one to get a case because they're just so damn beautiful see that look at that and also the case is like taped down but that's not a problem beauty that's a, like that's a beauty all in all i'm gonna get a closer look at it And just like the Deku, this is just like the original All Might stance and all, but just chrome, which makes it much more valuable than this one. It's just like a pretty epic cop. And then when I, when I got it, I was just like, I'm gonna cherish this one forever. All right, so now that you've seen all the pops that I've received from uh, Comic-Con, I'm just gonna show you a couple of the My Hero ones that I do have and you could comment down below which one of the ones that I have, you know, they're sitting over there in that section. Which one over there is your favorite from My Hero Academia series, so. Alright, so Silver Age All Might is one of the newest ones that just released that I uh, pre-ordered from GameStop. I'm not dealing with them anymore, but um, that's one of the new ones I received from GameStop, so Silver Age All Might. I'm actually complete all this entire set. 
except for this one, this Deku that, you know, is still being held up at GameStop for some odd reason. They just haven't received it yet. But this is the Silver Age All Might Epic Pose. Great, great looking suit. Like, this is a dope, dope, dope looking suit. So, not bad. 11 and now. Alright, so there's another All Might. It's the All Might Teacher costume. Um, this one was also $11.99, pre-ordered it from GameStop. Just came out. Um, only problem with this one is, I didn't get this from the one in Jersey because they were all out and they continuously told me that this one is only available at Comic-Con, which I told them it wasn't because if it was, I wouldn't have been able to pre-order it paid in full for Comic-Con. So, this, um... This one actually has like a bruise on it, like it's been dropped on the side or damaged during shipping when it was being shipped to the GameStop, but all in all, it's okay. I get a case for that. And the other one was ripped up from right here and right there, and this whole thing was up. So I'd rather have got this one with just a little bruised corner. It's not that bad. It still look good. So. So next up is Tokoyami, one of my favorite characters on My Hero. Not for scale, just, just design-wise, like he just looks so dope. Fumikage Tokoyami is just like ridiculously dope. And I'm just like so stoked that they would drop a pop like this so early. But he is one of the most loved characters. Like if it was a list, he would be... The, high re relatively high on that list so got tokoyami also 11.99 pre-order from gamestop released and everything really dope super dope best like one of, one of my best cops i definitely gotta get a case for him and i hope they drop like a chrome or all uh gold version of tokoyami that'll be super late all right we have azaiwa shoda shoda azaiwa Okay, also known as Eraserhead, one of the pro uh, heroes. Uh, they, so I have high hopes for this one. I seen a hot topic one with his um with his eye gear on, which is like it was it was lit and his hair was all up, his band was flying, lit lit lit. But I did not cop. I did not cop. See, he's like looking super tired as always. From, from one of, I believe, second series, I believe that second series, and it's just like dope all around, but what I want them to do is make a, make a, um, make a shoulder pop, erase a head pop with a, um, with his sleeping bag, like make him in his sleeping bag, that'd be so dope, just make him sleeping bag shoulder, like sleeping bag erase head, that'd be so lit. Alright, we have Kirishima. I actually never really knew his name. I just like like I liked his personality as a character. Like his personality as a character was like dope. He was the only one who could like you know keep Bakugo from like you know lashing out. Yeah, you know, like he was like a dope ass friend. Like, I really I really like Kirishima. Um, I just didn't know his name was Iraijo, E Ijiro, Ijiro. But all, all in all, do you see like? It looks like he got horns on his head. Like it's really lit. The whole costume design is dope. See that? Look at that. Look at that. All right. So we, now we got Momo, uh, the one that could pull the creations out of her chest or any part of her body. I guess. I'm not sure which, like, you know, which one is the correct description. But we have Momo. Yayozaru, Yayozaru, I can't pronounce that, forgive me, but dope, I like her stance, and I like that they added the prop of the stick that she always pulls out as a battle, like her go-to battle weapon, or at least one of them, pretty, like, really dope design, they got their hair on point and everything, epic, and I actually love her personality, despite being rich, she's not all stuck up and snobby, beautiful, that's with my niece, we have Todoroki, one of my favorite characters. Um, not because of popularity, just because you know his ability to hold his own. Like Todoroki is like super badass, and I like how they have this fire going on over here, and then you know the ice on the other side. Like the, the design is just super, it's just ridiculously good. 
I recommend any anybody who could snag this, get it because this probably is gonna work, be worth a crazy amount of money soon. It's like, then on top of that, I seen a glow in the dark total rookie, like same stance, same tech and everything, but you know it was just like glow in the dark, like some type of exclusive, super duper litty. Okay, so last but not least, we have all for one. I literally had it sitting over there and I forgot it was there. So here we go, all for one. There are actually another variant of the all for one that they said was supposed to be released for Comic Con, but I have not seen it at all he would have you know a corpse pouring out of his fingers or whatever that was like sheesh i need to cop but didn't see it at all but all in all this is bad ass this is like boss moves right here this is legit all right that's it for showing off the my hero pops back here see that that nice little tower right there that's it for the um the my hero pops and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like on it don't forget to sub to the channel for more content and if you're new you know just hit that sub button that helps the channel a lot and don't forget to hit the bell to get notified when i drop more videos i've been slacking on the videos but the videos will definitely get out so and also starting october 15th don't forget to, you know, sub to my main channel, your boy Cash, for gaming content and stuff like that, and for a chance to be entered to win, entered for a chance to win a copy of Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield. So with that being said, <clears throat> it's your boy Cash, and I'm out. The collection grows, baby. What? <laughs> what?